guys, welcome back. We have some exciting announcements that we wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, so as you guys know, I've been growing my hair out since we moved up to the property last last summer and it's finally at a point where I can, you know, do the man bun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No, that's so not the announcement. That's not the announcement. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks but for cool telling thing. us. <laughs> Can you grab that real quick? Sure. So we're expecting a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. that's the announcement. So that is the announcement that we wanted to share with you guys. Um, right now, while we're filming this, I am about 22 weeks along. There's 40 weeks in a pregnancy, and so we're due around mid-August. So this is a big step for us in our healing journey. Ever since we got married over five years ago, we wanted to start a family, but as you all know, we had to focus on Ben's health um, and just getting him healthy. If you haven't watched some of our videos, the, like, the last four videos we lay out, uh, my chronic illness story and how this all happened to just give you a quick summary five and a half years ago I felt chronically ill it was right around the time that we were due to get married and we eventually were led to medical medium we're ne we've been now been on medical medium for four years and about two years into medical medium you know I was feeling better and we decided okay you now's know, the time. Now's the time. To try. Let's, let's try to conceive a child. So yeah. So it took us about a year and a half before we were able to conceive, and um, yeah. So we, you know, went through the journey of having to kind of figure out, okay, how are we going to make this happen? And we just knew that, you know, bo maybe both of our bodies just weren't ready for it yet. So we, you know, of course, kept continuing on with our new lifestyle and eating healthy and incorporating things that help promote having a baby. So this is something that is really near and dear to us because we know a lot of people out there are dealing with infertility and miscarriages and just, there's a lot of that going out there right now. And Anthony, the medical medium, has shared a lot of information on why infertility is so high right now. So this is a subject that we are gonna definitely touch on more with our videos and on Instagram. Um, and then of course, walk you through our pregnancy journey, <laughs> our birth journey and our journey as being parents. Yeah, and we just kept looking at it as, you know, every month that we didn't get pregnant when we were trying, it was another month that we had to cleanse our bodies and get out all the bad stuff because we pat you know what's in your bodies gets passed on to next your, generation. your next generation so we just saw that as a, you know that was another year and a half of us cleansing our livers and just cleansing out all the toxins out of our body yep. but when we found out we were pregnant in December we yeah, oh, no. on my birthday. <laughs> yeah, which was pretty cool. Um, it was a great. It was the best present I got to open that day. <laughs> <laughs> we were in complete shock. You know, yeah. it didn't feel real to us at first, and you know, it took it took a while for it to like set in, um, and you know, the fact that. Ben was so chronically ill five years ago, and the fact that, you know, it took us a while to get pregnant, we were, you know... Worried that maybe... Worried something might happen. We, we wouldn't be able to do this because of how sick I was, but, you know, medical medium's information just shows that, you know, if you heal yourself and you get yourself to a point where you get your life back, then you can give life. Totally. So... With that said, <laughs> things are changing it's, around uh, here. It's like mid April right now, and we are still in the city. And if you watched our videos from last season around this, around this time, we were up at the family property and we were off grid farming and yeah. we are not there right now. So 
you know, with with this news, we had to make some uh, other important decisions, and one of those decisions was not going back up to the family property and off-grid farming this season. Right. Originally, our plan was to go back March of 2021. Yeah, so we would have been there right now, but uh, with everything going on, we've decided that we're going to stick it out in the city for this season. Ashley is due in August, so... The plan is, is this summer we'll be doing some urban farming. So mm -hmm. we've got our plot here at our house, and then we've got another plot that I'm developing right now uh, about you know a mile down the road. And the plan is, is we're gonna be urban farmers this year. So we still got the microgreen business, yeah, that we've been doing since November, December. Yep, and we're you know at two farmers markets a week, and we're in about eight grocery stores. So, you know that business is doing great. But keeps us busy. Yeah, and we're doing like yesterday. We had an awesome plant sale. Did very well. Got to meet a lot of the neighbors. It was a it's a pretty cool thing. And so we're doing like plant sales to kind of get the season started on the right note, and then. You know we're developing the the plot this plot so we'll have two plots that were urban farming so we'll not only have the microgreens to bring to market we'll also have a bunch of other products so yeah and so with urban farming if you're not familiar with it it's when you're doing like farming gardening from someone's home in a city area that doesn't have a lot of space and you do a lot of like close tight planting and Ben has some like really cool ideas that he's implementing with like using vertical space and all that. So that's something you guys will also see from us. Totally. Yeah, we'll do um, some tours and how-to videos and yeah. kind of show you what, what I have going on at both plots. But uh, we started developing the other plot uh, about two months ago, like beginning of March. Mm -hmm. So got a little bit of a head start. <laughs> so it's been busy but yeah we're doing what we can so yeah so no farming no off-grid farming doing some urban farming this summer and uh yeah. yeah looking forward to sharing more videos with everybody not only on urban farming but on pregnancy pregnancy and fertility all that good stuff so i know that's something that i like constantly looked for when we were trying to conceive, you know, finding other people in the medical medium community that are also pregnant and going through that whole um, phase of their life. And so I want to be able to have us to be that resource to those of you that might be planning a family soon or, you know, want to provide that information for others. So this is the plan for the summer months. This is the plan, and at least up until the baby's born. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you guys will just have to stay tuned. And you'll see what, uh, <laughs> what more happen. is to come, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. And, um, yeah, we're still just like everyone else. We're trying to figure figure things out and um, see where God leads us. So I think that's it for our updates. Yeah, quick little update here <laughs> for you. Thanks, guys. We are so happy to share our exciting news with you, and we hope that everyone's doing well, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.